How did I get started? Well, how does anyone get started? It may be an invite, or you see it on your friend's wall, but for me, it was fate. I happened to be looking at my newsfeed at the time, and this was before Timeline was first introduced. You're rather young, so you might not recall those days, but it truly was the golden age of Facebook philanthropy. The first cars that I ever liked was a group of unicyclists who were traversing the country to raise awareness for something. I can't quite remember what it was, but something about it caught hold of me. And I remember saying, John, which is my name, I was talking to myself, you're in a position to help here. You can like this. And I had never liked anything before. I had so many demands on my time. I would always think, someone else will like this. They don't need me. But that day, I clicked the button, the words changed to say, you like unicyclists. And it was the most rewarding experience of my life. <laughs> Prior to that time, I don't think I had so much as lifted a finger to help anyone. Now I had. This one. Before I knew it, I was liking over a hundred different causes, from Tanzania forest preservation to teaching sign language to unprivileged chimpanzees. And with every like, I couldn't escape the feeling that I could do more. So eventually, I started my own nonprofit organization with over 200 employees now whose sole purpose is to search for worthy Facebook causes and like them. They work tirelessly. Some even have multiple accounts so they can like things several times. It's really quite amazing. Good. Let's see if there's a recycling group we can like. To date, we are responsible for more than 10 million likes. Imagine that. 10 million. Don't hesitate to like something just because you may be one man or preteen girl. You never know who your like will benefit. So roll up your sleeves, sit down, click a button. Because together, we can like the world a lot.